Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can draw boxes or rectangles around important data to set it off in a report, or you may simply use the boxes as an additional enhancement to the appearance of the report. Creating boxes in a report is very much like creating lines in a report. You create boxes in a report by either clicking the Insert Box button in the Insert toolbar, or by selecting Insert from the menu bar and then just choosing the box command with a click. Once again, your mouse pointer will appear as a pencil when you hold it over the report. This time, you'll click and drag from one corner of the area over which you want to place the box across to the opposite corner, releasing the mouse pointer when the box covers the desired report area. When you click on the border of the box, it should appear selected with the resizing squares displayed around the perimeter of the box. You can place your mouse pointer over any one of these squares until your mouse pointer changes into a double pointed arrow. Just click and drag at this point to resize the square if needed. You can place your mouse pointer over the border anywhere except where the resizing handles appear, and then click and drag to move the box around within the report sections. To change the appearance of a box that you've drawn, you can either right-click on the border of the object and select Format Box from the pop-up menu which appears, or you can click on the box to select it, and then just choose Format from the menu bar and choose the Format Box command. Either way, you're going to launch the Format Editor dialog box, and there are two tabs in this dialog box which we use to change the appearance of our boxes, the Box tab and the Rounding tab. You can click on the Box tab to display general formatting options for the box. You can use the Style drop-down to select the border style of your box, either None, Single, Dashed, or Dotted. You can click on the button in the Width section that represents the desired thickness of the box's border. Use the Color drop-down to choose the color of the box's border if you wish. To apply a drop shadow, check the Drop Shadow checkbox. If you would like to fill the box with a color, then you can check the Color checkbox. In the Fill section, if you do check that checkbox, use the drop-down which appears to the right of that to choose the desired fill color. If you check the Close Border on Page Breaks checkbox, Crystal Reports will finish the line segments to enclose the data displayed on each page when a page break occurs within a box in the report. If you check the Extend to Bottom of Section when Printing checkbox, you can allow the box to extend to the bottom of the section when printing, and this is usually checked when placing a box around variable length data. If you check the Suppress checkbox, you will not print the box when the report is printed. Checking the Read Only checkbox prevents additional formatting changes to the selected box. You can check the Repeat on Horizontal Pages checkbox to have the box repeat across horizontal page breaks if necessary. And you can check Lock Position and Size to set the position and size of the box so it can't be moved within the report. Once you've made any formatting changes you would like, click OK to apply the changes you've selected. Once again, you can preview it in the Print Preview to see how it would appear. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.